Hey guys, so Sony Imaging Edge webcam software just came out and it's now available for the Mac platform, so Apple operating system. So I'm gonna give you a quick tutorial. I've been wanting to use this and basically what this does is it allows you to use your camera as a web camera. So I'm on my website right here and if you click this article here, the Imaging Webcam article, um, I'll also put these links below. Um, it just explains, you know, the update and, uh, you know, how it works. But all you got to do is click the download here link, which again, I will link below the video. And that'll bring you over to Sony's website where you can get this software. So there's the how to use section and all that. Don't worry about that. I'm going to figure all that out for you and I'll explain exactly what you need to do. The first thing you need to do, though, is select what cameras you have. I think Sony is just taking like a survey in that regard. So I have the a6400 I own. I currently have the a7 III I'm using to re review some lenses. And I have the ZV-1 still as well. So then I'm just going to click the download for Mac. And it's downloading right down here. You can see on the bottom of my screen. And it automatically will put that into the downloads folder. But I'm just going to click on the tab down here and open it up. So here is the folder. It just opened up the package. I'm going to double click this. And it says you will be guided through the steps necessary to install this software. Okay, uh-huh. You always got to accept the license agreement, whatever that says. So I'm just going to click agree. And then it's going to take up some space on your hard drive. Just This is pretty much just all default. And now here it says when the software finishes installing, you must restart your computer. Are you sure you want to install the software now? So I'm going to do that and I guess it's going to restart my computer. So... All right, so the installation did complete and it didn't automatically restart my computer. So I'm going to restart the computer now just by clicking this button right here. All right, guys, so as far as setting up the Sony ZV-1 camera, this is how you do it. It's very straightforward. You're just going to, first of all, you want the camera in movie mode. So if you hit the mode dial on the top, you want to have the camera set to movie mode, which is that mode right there. And if, you, if you're in movie mode, you want to have it set to program auto. That's what Sony recommends using, but you can try experimenting with the other modes if you like. I just have it set to program auto for now. Now what you need to do is you go into the menu and you need to go into the network area up top, the one that looks like that round globe there. And you have to make sure that the control with smartphone function is turned off. You want to have that set to off. And then PC remote function, that you're going to want to have turned on. So you turn that on like so. Then you can hook up a USB cable. And I'm using the one that came with the camera. I'm just gonna plug it in here on the side and I have it plugged into my computer already. And when you do that, the camera will automatically detect the computer and you'll see a little PC little icon pop up there. See, it says PC and that's pretty much it. Then at that point, your computer will now recognize the Sony ZV-1 as like a web camera option in some of the apps that you use. So let me show you that real quick. All right, so now I'm recording my screen and I'm on Facebook and I have a Facebook page here, Sony Alpha Lab, and I can create a new post here like so, but notice how I have the option to create a live stream. So if I go in there, click on the live button, it'll load up and this is the live stream stream area. So what I'm gonna wanna do is I'm gonna select use camera and then as you can see down here in the bottom right, it's using my camera that's built into the MacBook, you know, which is not bad. It's a decent camera, but it's not near as good as using a standalone camera like the ZV-1, for example. So check this out. You just click this little option here. And then right here is the Sony camera imaging edge. So if I select that, now look, now I'm using the ZV-1. And you can see if I look at that camera, it's, it's now my webcam, which is pretty awesome. So that's how you would go about using this. It's really not that hard. And when you have the USB cable plugged into the camera, by default, it's going to like charge the camera too. So the battery should last a really long time. I do recommend having the battery fully charged, however. I did want to run into one problem here that I wanted to show you. The security settings on the Mac initially was not letting me use the camera in Facebook here. So I don't know if I just shut that off at one point or what. But how you can change that is if you go into settings, system preferences, and you go to security and privacy, and then you click on camera here. So this is what I had to do. I had to enable Chrome, Google Chrome, to be allowed to see my camera and microphone. 
So I had to enable those options. And in order to do that, you have to uncheck this lock here on the bottom left. You'll have to put in your password. And in my case, I use my finger on my MacBook to just unlock. And now that it's unlocked, now I can check and uncheck these things. So I had to enable the microphone and the camera here on my Mac in order for the camera up here to work. It had just a red X on this camera and that's why it wouldn't initially work. So you may have that problem if you're trying to do this, but that is pretty much the only issue I ran into. And then you just go down here and you select the Sony Imaging Edge and you are good to go. So it basically just shows up as another option as a webcam, depending on what app you're using. I was not able to get it to work with FaceTime though. When I opened up FaceTime, it was not an option. So at this point, at least on my computer anyway, um, at the time of this video, I was not able to figure out how to get to use it with FaceTime, but that's not really a streaming app. So I think Sony must have it limited to streaming apps like this, for example, Facebook or YouTube Live, for example. Um, but if you're doing it for Google Meetings and things like that, this should work exactly the same. You just have to select the given camera that's now available and you should be good to go. So that is pretty much it for this video, guys. I really hope you got what you were looking for and I will catch up with you next time. All right, take care.